Well, Cleveland 19 News at 5 continues with a potential controversy. It's all over a pink house in the Tremont neighborhood of Cleveland. We did say pink. An entrepreneur from Northeast Ohio is behind it all. Now she is trying to calm the growing criticism. See New Yorkers here after sitting down with that business owner, Sia. Tiffany and Chris, this one is definitely a talker, but the woman who painted the home and put up the sign says that was one of her goals, to create a buzz about her company and her neighborhood. It's hard to miss this house here on Quigley Road. Think pink and pretty nemesis. Up and coming beauty lifestyle brand that will be launching in Cleveland. Ona Jara Lewis tells me she painted this abandoned house with the homeowner's blessing. It's a marketing strategy to promote her company. Jara says the idea came from rapper 2 Chains, who painted a house pink in Atlanta to promote his new album. It made national headlines and was heralded as genius marketing. I saw how the house in Atlanta had brought people together, so I say, hey, if I paint this house pink, the front porch pink in this area, I wonder how would it bring the community together in Cleveland. Many have stopped by to take photos, and it's creating buzz on social media. However, city reps say the home is in violation of several codes. Tremont West Development says the sign needs to be removed as soon as possible. Quote, this property has been turned into the city multiple times, once under previous ownership for debris and uncleanly conditions and overall need for housing inspection. There are multiple code violations. I think graf graffiti is definitely an art. I just don't know if a big pink house with an advertisement for some salon is really your proper way to advertise for your salon. And I think that 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 house could be used by a nice family. It's artwork for real, so I support artwork. And there's nothing bad about artwork at all. Yeah. It just expresses Cleveland seriously. If that's what makes the community happy, I don't want to fight with them about something that's new in the community. I want to be respectful of them. And, um, like, you know, this house has become like the baby to my brand. The fact that I've done that with my brand just lets you know that it can happen. I did speak with the homeowner who supports Jara's vision but doesn't want to violate any city codes. I also spoke with Ward 12 Councilman Anthony Bracatelli, and he says his office has not received any complaints about that house. We'll definitely keep our eyes on this one. Getting answers, CNU Worker, Cleveland 19 News.